So, you want to go out and meet women during the day, but you have no idea how to actually go from the hello to getting the girl's number and going on a date with her. This is why today I'm going to share with you the structure that I found that works best when it comes to going from hello to the date in 6.7 minutes. Why 6.7 minutes? Because I know you're an engineer and I used to be an engineer and when you put a point to the time, you know you're the real OG. Today we're going to go over the three sides of this approach. The first side is the mindset, the vibe and the how. The reason I'm making this video is there's a lot of guys who want to go up and talk to women but they either get too caught up in their head whenever they want to approach and stick to a structure that they found works best. They tend to have performance anxiety, they tend to go into the conversation, feel like they messed up, they don't deserve the numbers so they go out of the conversation and they just keep getting stuck in their head no matter what they learn. So I wanted to give you a structure that you could use that was a bit more authentic, that you could kind of mix in with your personality, but some mindset that would also prevent you from getting into your head. So the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the three mindsets as we're going into this approach. The first thing is nothing is a big deal. When you come in and you want to go up and talk to a girl that you're interested in during the day, you don't want to make this serious. In the end, in a hundred years, we're all going to die. And no one will remember you walking up to a girl in a random street and what happened. So stop putting pressure on yourself. The reason you're not able to access all this information and playfulness and fun you have in your mind is because you're taking this too seriously. So the less serious you can be, the more you can have that fun, the more you can be playful, and the more you can get into that flow state where you walk into the conversation not knowing what you'll say but the right thing just coming into your head the second mindset that's extremely important is forgive yourself for what happened in the past forgive yourself for what happened one second ago this is very powerful for most structures that you see from people where you approach you do an assumption you ask this question you make the girl qualify you make the girl invest you have all these different steps right but what people don't talk about is if you skip a step it's okay as long as you're in the conversation you're having fun you don't need to do things perfectly so don't treat the structure that we have here as a guideline don't grade yourself don't measure your performance in the micro scale of things in the macro scale if you're talking to 50 100 girls a week but you're not getting any numbers clearly there's something to fix there but within one conversation if you mess up that's okay. So whatever you express, right? You forgive yourself for what you expressed one second ago. It doesn't matter. It's gone. It's over. There is no reason to be in the middle of a conversation, get caught up with a mistake that you made, completely lose your presence and just mess up for the rest of the conversation as well. As long as you forgive yourself for maybe you said something stupid, maybe you made the joke that didn't land, as long as you forgive yourself for that, it doesn't matter what you said one second ago. The third mindset is having a good vibe and good intentions means you can get away with making mistakes. Again, this comes back to the second point. The importance of your approach is in the intentions that you have and in the vibe that you bring in. Human beings can sniff your intentions when you approach them. This is why maybe one time you wanted to talk to a girl, but you delayed it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. In the end, you gained the courage to go up to her, maybe ask her where Starbucks was, and she felt something was off. She didn't even pay attention because she realized that you were not owning yourself. So when you come into a conversation, you wanna make sure that you have genuine intentions. You're talking to a girl that you're genuinely attracted to, that you want to know more about. This is why I don't recommend practicing 
with people that you don't find attractive just to get in the reps because in the end you want to get into reps with people that you genuinely find attractive because when you have that intent when you have that excitement and inspiration and you act from that place of inspiration when you go talk to a girl then things turn out much much better for you the second part of this equation is the vibe that you bring in this is a lot more important than the structure that's lined up over there the key here is again having a smile on your face smile 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 this is the most common advice that coaches probably give to guys but everyone i work with they come into training they think they're smiling but they're not so if you think you're smiling i want you to look at yourself in the mirror and smile until your cheeks hurt i want you to spend a week spend two weeks where by the end of the day your cheeks cannot be working because you've been smiling too much if you struggle with smiling a good thing you can do before you approach is think of something funny think of something that warms your heart so that could be a cute dog maybe a puppy maybe a memory you had where you were laughing a lot with your friends maybe something that happened earlier that day whatever brings a smile to your face think about that and when you're smiling you might not say the perfect thing but people will keep paying attention because they know there's a good intention behind that the second thing about the vibe that's extremely important is relaxation so a lot of people forget that the whole reason this is created is because when you know something or you feel like you have the knowledge around something then you can go out there and be a bit more relaxed about it and not get into your head as much because you know you actually have the skills to do this so because you have the skills to do that you're going to relax a lot more but why not start relaxing before you even have these skills so the way you do that the way you relax a bit more into the conversation when you come in and you're talking to the girl is before you come in you do a body check you kind of check your posture but then you relax it you remind yourself you look at the girl you tell yourself in your mind you're safe with me i'm here with my best intentions but that only works if you have good intentions so make sure to take care of that as well the third part to all this is the fun and playful mindset which we covered a bit when it comes to the mindset parts but the way you incorporate this into your vibe is when you're in conversation you ask yourself what is a simple playful observation that i can comment on at this moment so for example as i'm recording this video let's say i saw a girl walking by and she's dressed all in black and it's sunny outside i could say oh well you're dressed all in black you really want to get the sun with a smile on my face with a bit of a smirk and you see how that vibe communicates over to the person because i'm having fun that doesn't mean you should have fun at the expense of others you should include the people that you're talking to in the fun because if you bring up their vibe to this fun relaxed state they're going to associate that state with you which will increase the chances that she will give you da -da -da, the number so now that we covered the mindset and the vibe let's go over the authentic structure that i found worked best for me as well as my clients so the first step that people always ask right is do i go direct do i tell the girl i thought she was cute i had to say something or do i go indirect do i make an observation do i hide my intentions a bit and start the conversation with something that's a bit more situated my answer to this is around 70 80 percent of the time i go direct but in the end you want whatever gets you into the conversation the more time you give yourself to overthink the more time you have from the impulse to say something to going and actually doing the thing that you wanted to do the more time you have to overthink so if in that moment the thing that comes into your mind is hey how's it going hey i had to say something hey i wanted to come say hello i was just over there whatever it is is that's okay because why 
we forgive ourselves for what we said once we're in the conversation. And once we're in the conversation, we can actually create that connection with people. That first step, as long as it gets you in there and you had the right vibe, it doesn't really matter. So then we move on to the next thing. When you first come in, the thing that people care about the most is can I feel safe with this person? And a really good way to indicate, hey, I'm a safe person is to be having fun. So again, what is the simplest place? playful observation you can add to the conversation in that moment. This can be based on the speed at which she is walking, the clothes that she has, the situation that you guys are both in. Maybe you've been waiting for the bus for a long time and the bus is late. Then you could say, well, it looks like the bus driver partied too much last night and he's probably recovering from his hangover because this bus has been 15, 20 minutes late. So these are all examples that I'm coming up as I'm recording this video. And the way you can train yourself is by having this simple, playful observation mindset throughout your day-to-day -day life, as you're ordering your coffee, as you're going to the gym. Whenever a joke comes up in your mind, if you think it's funny and it's not at the expense of other people, you just express it to create that winner effect. The next part of this is you ask yourself, what do I want to know about this girl because in the end you want to be going on dates with girls that you genuinely connect with so this is where the curiosity comes in and this is where you need to put in the work to decide what are the things that you like in a woman what are the personality traits the hobbies the spirituality the different qualities that you're looking for because then you can tie in those qualities and hobbies into the conversation. So a good example of this is personally, I love girls who can dance. So I would ask a girl, hey, do you like to dance? What type of dancing do you do? I also like girls who are more intellectual, who are intelligent. So I might ask a girl, hey, do you like to read? What's the favorite book you've read? When you can own aspects of what you like, the conversation will authentically steer in that direction. And when that happens, you connect with the people you're supposed to connect with and you don't connect with the people you're not supposed to connect with. This is not about trying Trying to convert every conversation. This is about having an honest, authentic, but efficient way to figure out who are the people that I connect with the most. So there you ask questions about her. As you're asking the question, you want to come off non-judgmental, which is why relaxation is important. And at the beginning, I would avoid asking why questions. You can reframe that why question into something different. For example, Instead of saying, why did you study biology? You could say, what led you to studying biology? The reason I say this is sometimes when you ask why, 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 although it gets you deep into the conversation, people might feel a bit judged, especially if you're a tall, intimidating person to be around. So by reframing those questions into what led you to, how you came to that conclusion, what, how, when, where, stuff like that, that's going to help you radiate that genuine curiosity. And as you do that, she is going to want to know stuff about you so as you get to learn about her you want to make sure that she also wants to learn about you because most people who are interested in you will also ask you questions about what you do what you're curious about what your hobbies are and stuff like that so this is where you figure out is this a good match if a girl is not asking you questions and she's a bit more shy you feel like she likes you but she's taken aback by the approach then you could ask her hey I know quite a bit about you but what would you like to know about me? I know we just met. And then a lot of the time, if the girl is interested, she is going to ask you a question that she wants to know the answer to. Another way to do this is as you're asking about her, if she's talking about something and she's finished, you could actually tell a story of your own that resonates and relates to the conversation. So that's the next stage. From there, all you have to do is to lead to the next stage of this mini adventure relationship that you're building. So the way you do that is if this is during the day or at night and you both have the free time, you ask her, okay, what are you up to now? If either of you are busy and you say, cool, I really enjoy talking to you. Let's get a coffee or a drink another time. What's your schedule like? You start planning the date as you're in the conversation with the girl as long as you have time. 
If you just have two minutes and you need to jump out of the conversation because your Uber is there, get the number. You don't have to do a perfect job to deserve a number. You just have to get in there, ask for the number if you want it, if you connect with the girl or you have the potential to connect with her when you do know more about her and ask for the number. It's simple. You never know until you ask. But if you have the time, you go, okay, what are you up to right now? Oh, cool, you're busy. What's your schedule like? Which part of town are you close to? What's your favorite drink? And then you line up your schedules and you go, okay, well, I know a really good place for wine, a couple of streets this way. How is Tuesday or Thursday? Then you set out the time, you go, cool, it was really nice meeting you. You get her number now that you have the plan. So the number is a natural extension of the conversation that you had rather than this ego thing of let me collect as many numbers as I can. So you get the number that way. And if you cannot plan something at that time, you could just say, hey, you know what? I need to get going soon, but give me your number and we'll plan something over text as long as you think she is receptive. So that's how you get Get the number. Now a very small thing that you should do after you get the number is to confirm that the number is actually right. A lot of guys do this the wrong way where they either get the number and walk away or they confirm the number but they get very intense about it. They're like yeah did you see my text or what? What you want to do is to say cool I'll just text you right now. You pull out your phone, you text the girl, and if she is keen, she will probably pull out her phone and make sure she got the text. And if she doesn't, maybe she's not aware of that, or maybe she's not that keen, but you always confirm that the text goes through. I made so many mistakes in the past where I had an amazing conversation with a girl and she put in her number wrong, or I put in a digit wrong, then we never got to build that connection. Now, another thing, is you want to give your phone to the girl so she can put in her number. Personally, I like to delegate the work when I can. Also, a lot of the time, I know I'm mainly a clumsy person, especially with small things like this. So if I put in the number, I might get a digit wrong. But if she puts in her number, most of the time, if she's interested, she will get it right. Now, two key things to pay attention to throughout this process. Do not grade yourself on how well you match the structure. This structure is just a guideline. As you can see, this is also a principle-based structure that allows you to implement things that work for your personality. The second part is forgive and forget. Whatever you said one second ago in the conversation doesn't matter anymore. It's gone. This can be a healing experience for you if you can learn to be in front of a girl you find attractive, say something, feel stupid about it, feel insecure about your chances, heal that by saying, I forgive myself for making a mistake in your head. You forgive that and you come out of this process a lot more purified. And as you're meeting the woman that you want, you're also healing yourself, which is why this process is so powerful. This is the most powerful tool that I've found when it comes to tackling your insecurities with women because you're getting real life experience, you're having that uncertainty, that fun, you're getting some excitement and dopamine hits as you get results. And through doing this, you're able to take control of your life and you're able to meet the type of woman that you wanna meet. So if you enjoy this, first of all, please, if you have a friend who could resonate with this content, share this video with them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a like and if you want to do this work together with me, there will be a link in description to schedule a call so we can chat and see if this is a good option for you. But I hope you enjoyed. Any questions about this, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.